Welcome into the video. Today we are back with the 65 inch LG C2 and I'm going to do something with this C2 that I've never done not only with this C2 but with any of my TVs that I've ever owned and that's manually update the software on the TV. Now typically I wait for the over the air update to be pushed out and I'll go ahead and head into the settings right now and we'll check while we're here. Go into support, software update, you can see here I'm on version 03.33.16, which has been out for a couple of months now. I have auto update turned on, but when I go in here and check for updates, it's gonna go run through all of its checks, and it's gonna come back saying no updates uh, found, but I've gone onto the LG website and located that an update ha is being pushed out and it has been for maybe the last, I don't know, four or five days, something like that, so I thought, well, why not just go ahead and manually update it this time? So I'm gonna be showing you the steps of that process along the way, and let's get this started. Okay, what I'm gonna do here is show you the steps to manually updating your LG TV and kind of where to get started. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to LG's website and then go to the software firmware drivers page, and you're gonna have a search bar up here. What you're gonna to wanna to do is type in OLED and then the size of your display. So for this particular uh, TV that I updated, it's a 65 inch. I typed in OLED 65, and before I could even finish, it wanted to auto populate OLED 65 C2, and just make sure you pick whichever one you have, whether you have the AUA model or the PUA model. Select that, once you search that, it's gonna pull up this page right here. And the only difference should be it'll say 65C2 PUA here. And it has the instructions right here or kind of some details to look at here. But what you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you pick this one right here. Notice that if I scroll down, let me click this up, it has the previous update in here as well. I don't know why LG did it this way this time, but it actually has both update files right here. Since you're looking to manually install the most current version, it's this 03.33.65, you're gonna to wanna to follow these two prompts right here. So first thing you're gonna do is you're going to click this here and download the zip file to your computer. And from there, once the file is downloaded to your computer, you're gonna see something, and I'm gonna drag this over, you're gonna see something pop up on your home screen that shows this. Open that up and extract the files. And from there, your next step, you're gonna plug in your USB drive into your computer. Make sure it's completely cleared out. No other files or folders in there. Once you see it's empty, you're going to create a folder in there called LG underscore DTV. LG underscore DTV. And then what you're gonna do from there is you're gonna take the actual update file from your folder here that's been extracted and you're gonna drop that into that folder LG underscore DTV. And from there, you're gonna take the USB drive back to your TV and cover the steps uh, necessary from there. And that's what we'll do next. So once you've completed the steps of downloading the update from LG's website to your computer and then unzipping the file and moving it over to your own USB drive and all of that stuff, now you're ready to go ahead and connect your USB drive to your TV, which I'll go ahead and do now. Okay, I have the USB drive plugged into one of the USB ports on the back of the television. And you can see a message has popped up here that says, the latest version of the software is available for your TV. Do you wanna update it now? And it's version 03.33.65. I'm gonna go ahead and select yes, and we'll move to the next step. Okay, it tells me the software update is in progress. Please do not unplug the USB stick or the power cord. You can check the update status in settings. So uh, from here, you're just gonna let this update play out, and I'll come back on the other side once this is completed. Okay, and as you can see here, it's showing update in progress and the percentage like it would like a normal over-the-air push update. So, uh, so far, things seem to be progressing just like they would if the update was pushed over the air versus me manually doing it. So, we'll see how things play out and we'll talk about it on the other side. 
Okay, the update's just about wrapped up here. You see that it was at 99, now it's complete. Software update has been successfully completed. Update will be applied when you restart your TV. Do you wanna go ahead and restart it now? Note that ongoing functions like recording may be affected. Okay, I don't care about any of that. So far, everything is progressing like it would if it was pushed out over the air versus being manually installed. I'm gonna go ahead and restart the TV from here and see how things play out from there. Okay, the TV reset and uh, it's currently coming back online. You see the WebOS uh, splash screen or home screen or whatever you wanna call it. Okay, so let's go back into uh, the settings here. Just to be sure, things are coming back slow. It's a little laggy. Software update, and there it is. Software version 03.33.65 is now installed. So, okay, everything's back online now. Uh, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna check some things out, make sure that uh, everything works properly over here in the settings, see if there's anything new. Um, and what I'll do is I'll come back with a follow-up video about what I found out that's new in this update for the good or the bad and let you know exactly what's going on there. So if you did enjoy the video or if you learned anything at all, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. If you're new around here, appreciate you watching my video. Consider hitting the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss one of my uploads. And until the next one.